Fields advocating knowledge everywhere news. I'm Bob. This is Ross, and you're watching Fake News. Today we are celebrating National Nellie Bly Day. <laughs> Tell me, Ross, who is Nellie Bly? Well, her real name is Elizabeth Jane Cochran Seaman, and she was born on May 5, 1854, in Cochran's Mills, Pennsylvania, to Mary Jane and Michael Cochran. She went to boarding school until her father died, putting their family in a money crisis. One day, she got very upset about an article a male columnist had written about how women were best in domestic and household roles. Nellie wrote back a fiery response about the bad representation of women to the Pittsburgh Dispatch, and the editor was so impressed by her writing, he decided to hire her as one of his newspaper writers. After that, she set out on a series of expeditions that cemented her fame as a journalist. Nellie Bly finished her trip around the globe in only 72 days, eight days shorter than the main character in Jules Verne's book. That wasn't the only impressive thing she did, and here to talk about it is Nellie Bly herself. Good afternoon, Ross. So, Nellie, what other exciting things did you do? Well, before I went around the world, I posed undercover in an insane asylum. Why would you do that? Well, I was writing an article, and I wanted to expose the conditions. You hear you're coming out with a movie based on your findings, correct? Yes. I wrote a book, and it's now becoming a movie of my time there. Here is a trailer of her new movie, Ten Days in a Madhouse. Nellie, I need you to go into the asylum. I'll let you out. Get back here! Good night. Spooky. Can't wait to see it in theaters. It was nice meeting you, Nellie. You too, Ross. Next up is Jeopardy. See you next time on Fake News. Welcome to Jeopardy! Nellie Bly Edition. Today's episode is sponsored by Home Depot. Veronica, the first question goes to you. I'll take achievements for 100. Achievements for 100. Name one thing Nellie exposed. What are scandals? That's correct. Elizabeth, you're next. Dates for 400. Dates for 400. What year was Bly introduced into the National Women's Hall of Fame? Mm -hmm. 1988. That's correct. Jessica, now it's your turn. I will take achievements for 400. Achievements for 400. Which cosmopolitan writer did Nellie beat four days earlier on her trip around the world? Who is Sacagawea? Uh, unfortunately, that is wrong. The answer we were looking for is Elizabeth Bisland. Veronica, it's back to you. Um, I'll take fun facts for 200. Fun facts for 200. Nellie often wore this color when she was younger and got a nickname after it. What is the nickname? What is pink or pinky? That's correct. Elizabeth, back to you. Dates for <clears throat> 300. Dates for 300. After her husband's death, when did she return to newspaper writing? What is... 1920. That's correct. Jessica, your turn. I would like fun facts for 300. Fun facts for 300. Bly married when she was only 30 years old after meeting Robert Seaman for only a few days. How old was Robert? What is 24 years old? Oh, that is incorrect. The answer we were looking for was 72 years old. Veronica, back to you. Um, I'll take achievements for 300. Achievements for 300. What two inventions did Bly create? Um, what is a type of milk can and a stacking garbage can? That's correct. Elizabeth, your turn. Fun facts for 100. Fun facts for 100. List three means of transportation when Nellie traveled around the world. What are trains? The water thing, like zoom zoom. Um, ships. Yeah, ships, that's what they're called. Okay. And I own a horse. So, yeah, a horse. That's correct. Jessica, <laughs> your turn. I'm gonna take 
Achievements for 200. Achievements for 200. Bly was America's first female war correspondent. What did she cover in Austria? What is the Civil War? Oh, wrong again. The answer we were looking for was World War I. Veronica, it's your turn. Um, I'll take dates for 100. Dates for 100. Nellie died of pneumonia when she was 57 in New York City. What was the date she died? What is January 26, 1922? You're so close. It's January 27th. Elizabeth, your turn. Fun facts for 400. Fun facts for 400. On 51st birthday in 2015, how was she celebrated? I know this one. What is a Google Doodle? That's correct. Jessica, it's your turn for our last question. Oh, um, I'm going to take dates for 200. Dates for 200. What day did she travel around the world? What is November 12th, 1528, in the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Unfortunately, that is wrong. We are looking for November 14th, 1889. That is all the time we have today for Jeopardy. Elizabeth, you are our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome back to female Jeopardy. <laughs> 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 I need you to go. Get a guy in. Okay. I